today we are trying to find out what Terraria bosses would survive a nuke. And when I mean nuke, I mean this. And then let's go ahead and reveal the map after that beautiful showcase. Oh my god, where is the world at? So let's hop right into seeing which bosses will survive. I am going to be activating Calamity Mod's Revengeance because we're playing in older Terraria, so Master Mode doesn't exist. And maybe we can show off some bonus bosses too, but let's get to it. We're bringing in the King Slime. Let's bring in multiple. Why not? Let's bring in multiple and let's see if they can survive this nuke. Now I'm going to make it really tiny. Because surprisingly, you can actually make it tinier. 200 block radius. Let's see what this looks like. Here it comes. Oh, it hit a planetoid. But the King Slime obviously did not survive. That is the one that I would 100% bet on to not survive. But now let us bring in the eye. I think the best thing about this video is I'm gonna have to sit here for a couple of these and listen to the tactical nuke COD noise every time, which honestly is nostalgic. So I don't hate it. How much damage did that do to the world? Like I don't even see anything. Okay, again. The Eye of Cthulhu did not survive. What is the damage looking like? Is this the damage? This is it right here? I would made a pretty big hole. Hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this is a lot bigger than I thought. What the heck? The map was straight lying to me. That's 200 blocks. Jesus. Yeah, this world is not going to survive the end of this. It's all good. Let's go to the bottom because I want to dig a really big hole. All right. After that, we got the brain in the eater. Let's, uh, what's going to be the best way to do this? The brain is going to despawn. So let, let's go over here. Now, the thing is the eater also might despawn. So what I should do is contaminate the area. All right. So we got half and half. Let's hope this works boom eater i guess we'll just bring in one because i don't think the eater you could bring in multiple and it'll work correctly and then the brain why is there three different brains let's bring in two brains and let's drop this nuke baby they're kind of floating away they're trying to get away from the nuke look at them <laughs> they can't escape doom boom Oh my god, look at all the numbers from hitting the eater. But there you go. That is the brain in the eater. Let's take a look at our map now. What's it looking like? No way it's still looking like this. Where, where, where did it land? Oh, it landed all the way over here? Kind of weird angles. The fact that it could land so far away, but it still does so much damage. Kind of crazy. Straight to Skeletron. Now, I'm going to spawn Skeletron the normal way. What's up, sir? And let's go ahead and just drop it on his home. I'm sorry. I hope you got uh, insurance. Home insurance. Here it comes. I feel like this is going to be a good angle. Oh. Wait a minute. He's alive. <laughs> he's alive. His hands are gone, but he's alive. That's kind of crazy. Hold up. We got to try it again. Maybe he did that little teleport ability as it landed, but we got to drop another one. Here it comes. Will he survive this time? No. But I consider that a W for Skeletron because he survived the initial hit, which none of the other bosses can say the same so far. Queen Bee is up next. Let's go ahead and bring her in. Let's bring in a good bit of them, a whole family. Now that I've seen one boss survive, I'm kind of really interested in seeing who else can survive. But there you go. Queen Bee did not survive. And we don't have a Deer Clops to show this off on. I think that's all the non like event bosses for pre hard mode. So let us head to hell. This one should be the most interesting i guess let's spawn it over here let's spawn it over here get the nuke going and hopefully it can reach from the top of the world to the bottom we're about to see here we go will it hit the wall of flesh oh it did indeed hit the wall of flesh what are these noises just constant screaming what the hell <laughs> where did that land i feel like they're all hitting the same area aren't they is it over here? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> all right, next up is the mech trio. Let's go ahead and do all of them at once. Now, since we saw Skeletron survive, do you guys think Skeletron Prime will survive? Honestly, no clue. Wait, hold on. Why is there two of them? Do you see this? <laughs> Why is there two of them? Whatever. Maybe that'll help him survive. 
I feel like each nuke is gonna take longer to land because we're slowly blowing a hole diagonally into the world. Like, look at that. <laughs> but none of them survived. Meaning that Skeletron, normal, not prime, is still our only survivor so far. And I'm assuming it's because of like a calamity sort of thing that happened. We're like, it's second phase or something. So I don't know, something like that. But some of the bosses we have dealt with here do also have some second phases. So potentially we might see a couple more survivors i don't know let's bring in both plantera and the golem now why not let's bring in we'll bring in two of each okay one of the planters does not have uh, the tentacles and stuff so i don't know she's kind of just floating around we are also very deep underground in one of the hardest terrial blocks in the game being the lizard bricks that's definitely up there so will it reach us of course these nukes don't have a problem reaching us all right it is time for big duke well, let's go over here and uh we're gonna bring in duke and i guess is there any like other bosses i can think of should we just bring in some uh mini bosses and stuff or event bosses sure why not just to see if any of them survive we might as well bring in all of them all of the big boys that is not like some of the smaller ones like we'll do pumpkin okay pumpkin dipped out on us i don't even know if we can bring in pumpkin do i just need to make it nighttime and he stays oh, okay he just like me he can't be in the sunlight for a long time it burns his skin we got the ice queen we got the uh the martian saucer that should be everyone i'm literally being frozen in god mode all right let's drop this nuke i honestly i feel like somebody's gonna survive here. somebody has to survive maybe the martian saucer survives it goes straight into phase two though that's what i'm feeling boom nobody survived <laughs> everyone literally everybody died wait no not everybody died it was just the, the fish on sharks shooting me making noises okay and now on to our sort of final set of bosses here in terms of the vanilla bosses let's bring in all four pillars and then let's bring in the cultists actually let's just fight the cultists first and then actually no 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 let's just do it all at once bring in the pillars anyways they're all four stacked on top of each other right yeah there's no shields or anything on them i wonder if with their shields they would survive i'm actually interested now we could test that out but i feel like this nuke is so strong and that skeletron was just an anomaly that happened wait what the hell is going on that that explosion hit hard <laughs> the pillars died so did the cultists and now we got moon lord coming in but we will test the pillars with shields that took forever for the moon lord to spawn i don't remember if he takes that long normally that actually might have been a minute of me just sitting in silence waiting for him to spawn <laughs> The Moon Lord, I don't know. It, will he survive? Because he also low-key has a second phase where his core opens up. But nah, it just hits everything. I really can't guess who's going to survive and who isn't. But now that we have taken down all the vanilla bosses here, let's test out on some of these modded ones. Hopping straight into it. Who should we do? Mutant? Mutant. Let's get it. Please don't kill me. Can he kill me, Yama? I don't remember. <laughs> He's making scary noises. What is that noise? Healing cooldown. Oh, here it comes. Please get this noise out of my ear. Please land faster. I have a feeling the mutant's gonna die. Oh. <gasps> the game is breaking. The game is malfunctioning. <laughs> what is this noise I'm hearing? He lived. The game also lived. He lost a little chunk of health. Look at his health. He still has an insane amount of health. What the hell? Can we please stop that noise? Jesus. All right. Who's next? Let's bring in Ek Death. Okay, this is going to be kind of scary. Let me set the nuke off right now. Give it a little bit. And now let's bring in Ek Death. What the hell? <laughs> Did the mutant just shoot Ek Death? We got to keep our distance. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I mean, the nuke hit, it's just, I also got hit. All right, now let's bring in some of the uh, big boy Calamity bosses. Hold up. These dudes were in this version of Calamity? I don't even remember that. But let's bring in, uh, I don't know. Look at that, he's moving. What the hell? <laughs> that boy got moving. Uh, you can spawn, and then let's bring in big old Cal, regular one. And then let's bring in Poltergast. Uh, anybody else want to join? Oh my god. Okay, nobody else can join. Nobody else can join. Game is freaking out. Let's just drop the nuke. Oops, it's accidentally set to 900 blocks. Is Poltergeist still here? I think Poltergeist despawned. You're not getting away, Poltergeist. You gotta take the hit. I'm sorry. Look how deep the nuke has to dive underground now. <laughs> 
That is so far. I don't know. Okay, Poltergeist didn't get hit. So they all died. Meaning the only two survivors is still Skeletron and then the mutant. Who is next? Let's bring in uh, Providence and then Yarn. That's going to be who we bring in next. These two. Anybody else want to participate in this? You know what? Can I bring in uh, Cygnus? No, not Cygnus. Who's the other dude? The dude that's built like a portal. Here we go. Ceaseless Void. These three right here. I low-key got hope in Ceaseless Void because he's a weird boss fight. This nuke is traveling, bro. They all died, but that nuke is traveling. Wait, hold on. You hear that? Oh, <gasps> he lived? <laughs> he lived, I think. Oh, my God. Okay, we got our third survivor. But I just want to see something. I want to look at the map because the nukes are taking like a solid 30 seconds to land now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta we gotta make it small again. All right, who is next? I guess Supreme Cal will be our next combatant here. Should we just do it this first phase that comes up? I guess we do it this first phase that comes up. And then while we're at it, bring an abomination. Why not? The game is starting to lag. That's how long it's taking for the nuke to land. Like the game is legitimately lagging. Hold up, did you survive? Is she alive? I don't think she's alive because she's giving us like a whole dialogue. She's got to be dead. Okay, I take it back. I think she's alive. <laughs> I think I have been mistaken in that she is definitely alive. So why not drop a second nuke? Okay, what about now? What about now? Is she gone? The dirty bubbles are still here, but where is she? Bro, she's taking multiple nukes. This is crazy. She is dead, though. She's officially done. And I guess our final boss to end off this video should be this crew right here. The mech little trio. There should be three of them, right? Okay, there we go. Let's drop a bomb on these three. That will be it. No more nukes. We have completely messed up the world. God damn, look how long this dude is. Pause. Oh, oh, I see health bars. I see health bars. Who is it? Apollo and Artemis survived. Damn. So the people that survived is a very strange list. Skeletron, the mutant, Supreme Cal, and then whatever the hell the name of those robots are, like the whole group of them. I don't even know what the, the whole name of them. It's like Dradon's mechs or something. Apollo and Artemis. Very interesting. There might have been somebody else that survived, but I completely forgot. Ek Death. I guess. But Ekdeath killed me in the dip, so I don't really know. But yeah, what other bosses do you guys think would survive the nuke? Let me know in the comments. Maybe we could try and get some super bosses in here. The thing is, this is Team All Loader 1.3. It's not updated, so obviously current mods we can't really do anything with but still let me know in the comments maybe there's some bigger mods that have some pretty strong bosses we could test a nuke out on if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like subscribe turn on the notification bell all that good stuff i will be seeing y'all in the next video have a good one